Hey guys, this is a dude of two, and I wanted to share you my Sabiki game with just a little bit of commentary. Um, so let's uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, Nick Sabiki, if you don't know who he is, he's a four dollar uh, AGA, very strong player, very famous uh, YouTube internet streamer, and uh, I had no qualms about losing to him because I know he's a lot stronger than me. He, actually, he teaches Go to Seattle Go Center. A uh, very strong player. So um, me losing to him was not a big deal. Uh, I really just wanted to have a good game. I wanted to learn from him and, uh, you know, just kind of get a feel for his strength, for his, uh, you know, for his power, and that type of stuff. So um, <clears throat> I figured since I was going to lose anyway, I was going to play a move that... Um, I liked, and I didn't really care, uh, you know, what people thought. Um, so, uh, for those of you who've known me for a long time, probably guessed that I opened with a 3-3. And now, oh boy, let's see, what's the problem here? Okay. So, uh, Nick opened with a 4-4. Now, if he would have played this corner or this corner, I would have gone for it and done the double 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I was informed by the commentators that uh, the 3-3 three, three is uh, sometimes played by white nowadays, but it's considered a bit slower because the opponent can be played by black. Uh, the way I figure at my level, uh, you know, it's not going to make a big difference right now. Maybe when I get a little stronger, I'll consider that stuff. And then I did a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I figure I got one corner pretty much guaranteed, and, uh, you know, now I can play a little faster down here. Now, oddly enough, an interesting move is uh, Nick played here. Um, obviously, this move uh, is trying to make a bigger corner, and if I jump in here, he's going to build a nice wall going here, and I was worried about an extension over here. Uh, if I jumped in here and we played the regular Jusecki, he would eventually pop down here, so he would have a wall here and an extension from that wall, which will kind of even kind of work to enclose that a little more. I didn't really want that. Uh, so I played down here. I didn't want to play here because I never like how this works out. I'll either have to cut him and um, get in a big fight, which I don't want to do against a stronger player, or he'll push me down and extend out. And I don't like that either. So I played down here. I figured you are bound to get a response. Uh, I thought he would back off, but really he uh, he did a pincer, which really left me with uh, three choices. I could have jumped out. I could have jumped and played in the corner, or I could have done a well. I guess four choices: uh, a pincer here or a pincer here. But I played with the one I was uh, pretty confident about, and he of course did the proper block. Up again. I jumped up here. And he plays over here. I'm sorry. And he plays over here. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, you know, he's building this here. I have two corners. So I thought. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, I feel like I need to do some type of answer here, so I believe I just backed off. And white, Nick, uh, plays down here. Now he's like, you know, what he what he wants is me to play here, and then he could do something to, you know, make this stronger. And I didn't want that. Plus, uh, you know, I wanted to, to play a big point. So, for better or worse, I played here. Because I figured this would set me up for playing in here. Now I don't mind so much for push down. Little did I know that the stronger players don't fall for these type of weaker plans. Um, Nick then proceeds to take the corner. He's hoping to take Sente, right? If I, if I play another move, like over here or something, then he can just jump in or... If I play like another slow move down here, then you could attack. Uh, either way, it's not looking 
It's not looking good no matter what over there. So I just ignored it again. Played another big move. I figured I'd get him to press me down and everything would be good. But here's my first bad mistake of the game, uh, I think, is that I didn't realize that there was a Joseki that existed with an attach here. Um, the proper way to answer this would be for black to play here, white to play here, black plays down, makes a nice shape, and then white can jump over. I should have done that. Instead, I figured I'm going to just build a wall and jump down, uh, which was probably bad for me. So I play over. I fix this. I play over again because I can't allow this bend. Uh, he gives the head of three stones anyway. I push out here. White does the double hane. I cut. He fixed. I play down. I played down, took that stone, which was pretty nice, and I played a move like this, which is probably bad. I probably should have done something over here, or done something over here, or touched this, but I played this. So I figured my group's pretty safe. I got a lot of guaranteed points, so I'm playing very territorially. Uh, and Nick says it's time to attack. Now, um, the comment, commentate, commentary, uh, the people doing the commentating, I guess is that the term, said that he should have played something a little more severely right here. Uh, and so he was actually criticized uh, a bit worse than me uh, for that. So I figured I'm going to go on the attack of these stones. I was pretty much going to play those... Uh, you know, as light as possible. Uh, and White just jumps out. Uh, I guess the whole time they were screaming at me that I needed to attach. Right? If I would have attached here, I would have uh, probably been able to save some of this stuff. But I simply protected. Uh, playing for territory. So now I have this is territory, this is. Uh, territory, and this is territory, and the territory he has is just this little bit here and this little bit up here. So point-wise, I'm ahead of him. But uh, as we shall see, it's not very good. Uh, now he threatens to take that whole corner, and I just ignore again. I'm like, well, I'm going to do this. And this move, for me, I think ends the game. Once you let a strong player do something like this, oh, not yet. First, he's going to play down. I was hoping to get this move. And I had to play down again, which secured me but made him very strong. Uh, well, okay, well, it's coming up. He does this. Now, I wasn't aware that when your opponent does this, you need to answer like this, or all kinds of bad things happen. Okay? I didn't do that. I played here. And now he played this move. I guess I did the proper response here. And we just jumped up in there. So now, Nick not only reduced this, but he also reduced this. And these stones are going to die. So at this point, I would say he is clearly way ahead. Uh, I don't know if people would say it's over yet, but it's, it's definitely not good. Uh, Black needs to do something in here, which I just never felt like I had the opportunity. They recommended me possibly playing here. I was worried about a move here. Uh, but I, I guess uh, it probably would have worked out. Um, so I launched a small offensive over here. Uh, and white attacked. And I did this. And white did this, building nice shape. I did this move here, playing solid, keeping all my stuff connected. Uh, but it allowed white this nice move. White's just going to tear all this up. Play it over. And white runs out. And now these two stones are getting in trouble. I realize I need to do something. So I play this, threatening to kind of hook this up. Which was not sente. And then I played this, which is a pattern that I am familiar with from the 4 4 just second. Uh, Nick uh, played here, but I believe my stones are safe. 
However, I'm still uh, still working on uh, making sure I'm safe, which I probably shouldn't have. I play this move. And white jumps in, and this move really sucked. Yeah, this move really sucked. Uh, this was a mistake. I read out uh, the wrong stuff. I read out if white played here, I could just play on top and take, but for some reason uh, that was wrong. Uh, white took good advantage of that. Played out here. Played out here. And white played here, taking that whole corner off of me. Took a 3-3 three, three corner, well, kind of. Took a 3-3 three, three corner off of me. Played here. White took. And I actually down here. And white jumps out again. So now I have this group in trouble and this group in trouble. Uh, not very cool. I played here, threatened to jump in and connect everything. White blocks. And now would definitely be the time to save, but I figured I had a sensei move here. Which is basically just making my black groups down at the bottom weaker. And I played down here. I'm jumping out. Uh, White gets a nice poking move here to make his stuff stronger. Plays down again, which I should have ignored. I did, good. I played here. So we need to make this group weaker. I should be alright. This is my only weak group. I should have, this whole time I should have played here uh, and seen what I can do. But uh, I did this because I'm pushing down, it was pretty annoying. Here. And this ended it. Pretty much ended it. Everything else was mush. Uh, and actually, at this point of the game, I was out of time. Uh, I was already in Boyomi, and he had plenty of time left. Uh, this program I have isn't keeping track of the time. This is by Move88. Uh, you know, not very good. I was hoping to build up strength and just kind of jump in and reduce, but if you do the math right now, white gets almost. If there's 360 points, this is 180 points minus, oh, I don't know. Right now he's got probably around 140 points here. And I'm guessing he's got probably another 15 points there. So that's 145. He's probably got a good 10 points there, 155. So he's got about 155 points. This is my generic counting. And I've got, luckily, maybe 10, 20 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, I'm guessing I got about 70, he's got double the points of me right now, and basically what I learned is the whole time I should have played here, and at any given moment I should have played here to try to reduce, so uh, that's about it, I'll, I'll play just a few more moves, but it was pretty much pretty much over from there. I played here uh, to try to reduce some more. And then I played here, which is probably dumb. And then here, starting to push in. White block. I should have played up here and tuck, but it wouldn't have mattered. White plays down. I tried some fancy pants moves to try to cut these off, but it doesn't happen. And white starts pushing in my weak stuff now. Look, it's this nice move now, and it's pretty much, pretty much over. I block this territory. Look at these crazy reducing moves. It's all over here. 
feel like I did all right against a stronger player. It's just some of my antics. Most of my antics just won't work on so this end game we were playing me, I think. But I gave up. At this point, I just gave up. Uh, I resigned. Uh, it was a good game. It lasted 118 moves. And that is my game against Nick Subicki. If you have any uh, comments, obviously I, I should have reduced here sooner. And I should have uh, done something to at least run these stones out and play them lightly. But I learned. I mean, I think I did well. Um, he stated lately later that uh, he didn't have a lot of... Uh, he didn't try very hard, basically. He played very relaxed. He gave me what I wanted, and he took what was left over. Uh, and I guess when you're really strong, you could do that and still win. So uh, that's about it. If you have any uh, questions, comments, criticisms, let me know. Uh, that's my next Vicky game. Thanks, guys. Later.